So the last part of this question, and something that's often asked on an exam, is to make a comparison between two different graphs or two different relationships. So in this case, we're going to look again at Kelly and Jane and their race that they're on. Um, and something that some people are finding helpful for writing statements and making sure they get everything in there is this little acronym here, AWESOME, um, or OSOME. So state the obvious, anything that we've noticed. Uh, specify, be specific about what feature it is, and that's saying things like the gradient, the y-intercept, or an intersection. Give some evidence, what are the numbers for it, and then put it into context or into meaning. And if you can kind of do that for three features or so that you notice, um, you'll be in pretty good shape for the write-up for these. So for me, the first thing I notice, um, an obvious feature to me, is that Kelly has a higher y-intercept than Jane. So that's going to be my first point. Kelly has a higher y-intercept than Jane. That's stating my obvious, and I'm specifying it all in one statement there. She starts at 6 meters, which is 5 meters ahead of Jane, who starts on the 1 meter line. So here I've been obvious, one's higher than the other, specifically what I'm talking about is my y-intercept, and my evidence is that one's at 6 and one's at 1, and there's a difference of 5 between them. And then in meaning, putting it into context here, so Kelly has a bigger head start in this race than Jane. Alright, looking for another key feature that we can talk about here. One thing I notice is the steepness of these two lines. And again, with a distance time graph, the gradient there is related to the speed. So, looking at another point to talk about here. In this case, Jane um, has a steeper graph than Kelly, stating the obvious there. Um, Jane's gradient, which we found already, um, was 3.5 meters per second is 3.5 meters per second, which is faster, making that comparison, than Kelly's gradient of 2 meters per second. And then putting this into context again, we could say something like this shows Jane is traveling at a faster speed than Kelly. So again, I've stated something obvious, one of them steeper than the other been specific to say it's the gradient, and given calculations here of my gradients. And this shows that, um, in context, that Jane is traveling faster than Kelly for this race. Okay. Um, so that could be differences here. One thing that I notice uh, as well, as an obvious feature, if we want to think about other things to talk about, would be that um, Kelly is ahead in the race until this point here and then Kelly is behind and Jane is ahead in the race. So that intersection is kind of an interesting point to talk about. And so we have a little bit of a similarity there as well. So, <coughs> um, I notice Kelly 
starts off <clears throat> off in the lead of the race and is ahead of Jane until what's my intersection at 3.3 seconds until 3.33 seconds where Jane catches up to her and passes her so after the graphs intersect we see that Jane is in the lead from a time of 3.33 seconds and a distance of 12.667 meters from the start. So, stating the obvious that Kelly is further ahead than Jane at the start, at some point they're at the same distance here, and that's when one passes. So you probably could have worded this another way too, and say, you know, there's an intersection point at 33 3 seconds and 12.67 meters. This means that at that point they're both in the exact same distance, but prior to that Kelly is leading and after that Jane is leading, so the lead swaps over in that instance. So when you're writing these, just try to make sure you're really specific about what the features are. That you're talking about intersections or gradients or y-intercepts. You're giving numbers and you're being specific back to the context again. What are we talking about here? The amount of money it costs to buy a plumber or to rent a, pay a plumber to come repair your house? Or is it cats and dogs racing? Um, make sure you put it back into the context of the situation they've given you.